guys, it's Hannah. This is Bookworms Talk, and today I am going over Nina Malkin's Swoon, my highly abused copy of Swoon that I read years and years and years ago. But it's really good. See, really, really abused. It was left in the rain once. I don't usually abuse them like this. Don't call BPS. Book Protective Services. Yeah. It's unique. It's weird. And, um... Yeah, it's creepy as hell. It's not a cookie cutter book. If you are sick of even the vampire books, this is creepy and it's not a vampire book. I read a lot of uh, paranormally books. This thing freaked me out to an extent of some nightmares. It starts off with Dice, who is our main character. Her real name's Candace. No one named their child Dice. Don't get any crazy idea. She's from New York and she's forced to move to Swoon, Connecticut, and she has family there. Her cousin, Pin. Um, so her and Pin are at this lake. Pin decides, oh, it sounds like a great idea to climb this tree. And she falls off and kind of dies. You didn't see that coming, huh? And Pin, her eyes open, but they're, they're not Pin's eyes. They're like on it. Then there's this voice that comes out of her little blonde body. I shall be avenged. And so she's possessed by this ghost that was entwined with the tree. And his name is Sinclair Youngblood Powers, and he is out for blood. So the story goes on. Pin is like oblivious to the whole she's possessed thing. Dice sees it. But Dice knows. And oh yeah, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys something sort of important. You know, a little, little tidbit. She has ESP. Yeah, she talks to dead people. Dice gets to know Sin through Pin and finds herself drawn to him. You like him despite knowing that he's this terrible thing. It's like the epitome of bad boy and not the typical teenage sense. She's not so keen on his whole seeking revenge thing. So then Pin eventually becomes aware that she's possessed. It took her a little while actually. And this ESP decides I'm gonna take matters into my own hands. Uh, she decides, I'm gonna try to exercise this demon ghost sin, and let's just see what happens. But she kind of messes things up kind of a lot. She accidentally um, sets sin loose. Now he's gonna go and wreak havoc on the entire town because he's obviously out for revenge. He has said it a lot of times, and shit starts to happen. For the spoiler section, this is about where I'm gonna have to stop you guys it starts getting even more intense. If you're just sick of the ordinary, check it out. It's a nice change. Bye now, really, bye. Bye, see you next time when you have read it, bye. So, uh, let's talk spoilers. First of all, Sin, he says stuff like, my lady. It's so funny, cause he's so old timey, which I love. I have a query, not I have a question. I have a query. You know that fire in the old folks home? Okay makes sense now, doesn't it, when you think about it? Because they were the original people. He's mad at them, and I don't feel bad for them, really. But I got really creeped out at the end of that chapter. Okay, literally gonna read it verbatim because it's that creepy. The last I saw, he was just standing there. The old people were falling down and getting up and falling down, and there was smoke and there was screaming. He just stood there in the middle of the dance floor, and he was laughing. Yeah. And then directly after that, um, Dice is with Kurt, then he just randomly kicks the chair out from under her, and he's like kicking the crap out of her, and oh, oh yeah. So she, when she's like screaming, I just, I have to stop and read what she actually says. Stop, help. Logical, okay, continue. Murder, sure, okay. Osama Bin Laden, yeah. And then Sims just like, poof, I'm there, and saves her right after that creepy as fuck fire old folks home thing then he does this and it's okay now that's why we like sin we find out about hannah miles like they were together or they kill hannah and then sin is just so devastated like he just, he loved her and she was gonna have like his kid and it was terrible and devastating and it only makes you sympathize for Sin more. Sin really was innocent. You, I will be avenged. She will be avenged. And I wanted them all to die. I totally understood it at that point. I'm just like, go back and kill them all. Burn them to the ground. And then at the end, 
Ruby, who is her dead friend, we don't know why Ruby's dead. And Ruby died uh, from alcohol poisoning. Like they were drinking and then Dice passes out on the couch. But I felt alive, but Ruby was not. She was not alive, she was dead. She tells Sin about Ruby because he wants to know. So him as a golem wasn't really him. It was just this revenge seeking part of him. And it was not Hannah's sin that killed me. That, that part killed me. And he told her, she told him this. And then they had sex. But it wasn't vulgar in any way. Like it was very abstract. But it made the point. And then he's just gone. I was sad. But then there is Swear. However many years later comes out. I'm like, whoa. Swoon has a sequel? Cruel freaking beans. I'm buying it. Swear. It's so pretty. Ugh. Ugh. Stop running away from me. Uh, and this sin is in it. Tell other people about this. I'm gonna go away now, guys. I've been rambling for a while now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. Anything always helps. It's always fun to hear you guys' feedback. Comment on some of your favorite parts. Let me know. I'm always... Glad to come back. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!